Hey everybody, welcome back. This is more of a companion video than anything else. We're gonna do stoichiometry in one step. So up until now, I've shown each individual step, going from mass to moles, then moles of substance to moles of another one, finally back to mass. Uh, because these are ratios, we can do this all in one large conversion to save time and space on paper. And as you get better, you can set these up a little bit quicker, especially if you're doing larger calculations or if you're doing a lot of calculations to prep for something. So it's actually the same example as my last video. Uh, in 430 grams of nitrogen are reacted, so we're here. How many grams of magnesium will also be reacted? So question mark. Uh, grams over here. So we're going to go mass to moles and then moles to moles between nitrogen and magnesium and then finally back to mass of magnesium. Uh, these are ratios the whole way through. So if we set up our conversions to get rid of whatever units we don't want, then we can do it all in one big conversion step. Remember, this is called dimensional analysis, and that just means converting between units. So we start with our known. Always start with your known. 430 grams of N2. 430 grams of N2, and I'm going to set up a ratio. We're just going to tag on and on and on until we're done with our conversions. So I'm going to start with grams. The first thing we need to do is go from mass, always from mass, to moles. And I'm going to do that for nitrogen because that's what I know. So grams here, one mole of substance is equal to its formula weight or its formula mass. Nitrogen is 14 grams per mole. I've got two of them, so 28 grams on the bottom. That cancels out my grams unit. Great. Now I need to go from mole of N2 to mole of magnesium. Once you're in moles, you can convert substances using your reaction. So I'm going to set up a second step. Nitrogen is my target, so I start with. So I'm going to get rid of that by dividing and change to magnesium on top. And we use our balanced reaction to get our ratio. So three magnesiums no coefficient with nitrogen means one. So now I've converted from nitrogen to magnesium. If you look at your units, what's not canceled is where you would stop. I'm in moles of magnesium right now, so step three, we need to go from mole to mass. So I'm gonna do one more conversion step. I'm gonna get rid of my moles. One mole of a substance is equal to its formula weight, and magnesium, I always forget, is 24.3. 24.3 grams. So moles have canceled here. So if I calculate this big ratio, we're going to end up with grams as my unit of magnesium, my chemical. And there's a couple ways to approach this. You can multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom, and then divide what's left. Or you can just do each box as it comes. So you can do 430 times 1 divided by 28 times 3 divided by 1 times 24 divided by 1. You should get the same answer both times. So I'm going to do 430 times 1 just to keep, it's redundant, you don't have to, but to keep track of where you are. I'm going to then divide that by 28, then I'm going to multiply that by 3, divide by 1, and multiply that by 24.3, and we end up with our same answer from the last video. If you go back, it is 1119 1, this is grams of magnesium. So you can do this all in one step. You can show your conversions. This is why dimensional analysis is helpful because we can see each unit canceled in each step. Your answer technically, not technically, it is more precise too because you're not rounding at each step. So I just use that answer button to go all the way through. One calculation gives you an answer. Uh, for high school chemistry, precision at this level is good to be aware of, but not super necessary for the lab as you get into college uh, chemistry if you're doing that, then this is definitely a much more precise way. Hopefully that's helpful. If this doesn't make sense to you, just show every ratio. I don't really care. Uh, your teacher probably doesn't even care. Um, but yeah, we can set up single conversions or set up all your ratios in a line to get to the same answer because it's all ratios. It's ratios the whole way down. Uh, if that's helpful, great. If it's not, leave a question. I can write or I can make a follow-up video. Otherwise, be sure to check out some of the other ones. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.